How's it going, guys? So, we had a great night of boxing last night. There were several really, really eventful fights that happened. Uh, I'm going to be doing post-fight videos for each one when I get the time. Uh, I, I managed to watch the Gennady Golovkin fight live, and then not long after, I managed to watch the Robert Hellenius fight. Now, um, I, I watched the Robert Hellenius fight on YouTube. It got uploaded pretty much as soon as, as, soon as the fight finished. So, uh, I just wanted to give some quick thoughts on the Robert Hellenius comeback. In this video, um, he was fighting uh, Konstantin Erich, as you probably already know. I uh, had a prediction video up for the fight, and in the prediction video, I was picking Hellenius to win, and I was picking him to win by knockout. However, I mentioned that I was slightly concerned, because Robert Hellenius, for those of you who have been following his career, you would know this. Uh, he's He has been plagued with injuries his whole career, okay? His, his uh, career was pretty much, it was pretty much stalled because of a horrendous shoulder injury that he suffered and surgery that he had to go through. And then when he came back from the shoulder surgery, he actually broke his left hand badly. And also, I believe he, he uh, injured his right hand too. Uh, and I've seen photos of the left hand and it was badly broken and swollen up. So uh, it, it was clear to me that a heavyweight like Hellenius, who relies on his punching power and his size, you know, to have those kind of injuries, it really takes away your best weapon, and it can really, really stall and slow down your career, so I was concerned going into this fight, because, um, and, and also, Hellenius was coming off a knockout defeat against Johan Duhapas, uh, and Duhapas really, really knocked him out badly, and um, Konstantin Eric, although Konstantin Eric is not an elite fighter at all, not even close, um, Konstantin Eric has a very, very powerful right hand, okay, I've seen him hurt several guys in the ring with that right hand, uh, if he catches you at the right point, he can knock you out. Uh, he's, he's very, very, just a very, very naturally heavy-handed guy. I mean, just ask Danny Williams how heavy-handed Konstantin Erich is. I mean, he had Danny Williams out on his feet in one of the early rounds, like, badly. And this is a guy in Danny Williams who has fought everybody. I mean, this guy's fought Vitaly Klitschko, Mike Tyson, a lot of big punchers. And according to Danny Williams, Konstantin Erich is just his natural raw power was very, very surprising, and that was why Williams had some issues early on in that fight before he came back to win. So uh, I was slightly concerned for Hellenius, because, you know, going in against a guy like Erich, you want to be careful, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to overest or underestimate the guy, and um, Robert Hellenius, he went into the fight, he was, he was very, very composed, he didn't underestimate Erich, you know, Hellenius was using his jab, and uh, <laughs> the fight only lasted 49 seconds. Hellenius threw a peach of a right hand, man. It was a very, very well-placed, very accurate right hand straight down the middle. Just everything, everything about it was perfect. I mean, Hellenius put all his weight behind it. He set it up with the jab uh, and he targeted it beautifully. And Erich just flopped. As soon as he took that punch, Erich hit the floor. And I think the punch must have shattered something in his face because he was in excruciating pain. And, uh, you, you know, he was on the floor, he, he was trying to get up, but he was just, like I said, he was in excruciating pain. The punch caused him a lot of problems. And, um, you know, I, I think just on the floor, the pain got the better of him and he just decided to stay down. Because, uh, obviously, you know, he doesn't want to take more, too many of those right hands at this stage of his career. So, yeah, very, very impressed by Robert Hellenius, okay? Let's not forget, Konstantin Erich, although, like I said, although he's a journeyman, he is a very, very experienced heavyweight. He's been around for a long time, okay? He's been in the ring with a lot of names. He, he's fought Anthony Joshua. I mean, Anthony Joshua took three rounds, I think, to stop... Uh, to stop Erich, so the fact that Hellenius was able to beat him with the first significant punch he landed in the first round is, is commendable. Now, um, I'm still concerned about Hellenius, however, because one thing that I've noticed is that Hellenius, when he fights guys who are pressure fighters, and Konstantin Erich is not really a pressure fighter, but when he fights guys who come forward and who are pressure fighters and who look to go to the body, that's when Robert Hellenius seems to have most trouble. Now, um, there are a lot of really, really good pressure fighters in the heavyweight division. And um, also, one thing that we've not seen from Hellenius is we've not seen him really be able to deal with a guy his size or his height. And that's another thing that I'm concerned about, because at this stage, with all the injuries that Hellenius has received and, uh, you know, the problems he's had in his career, I mean, getting knocked out by Johan Duhapas really, really raises alarm bells, to be honest. 
about Hellenius's career moving forward. I mean, this is the same guy that, that Deontay Wilder was able to stop in 11 rounds and also lost to Erkan Tepper. So, um, you know, I, I just, I don't see at this stage Robert Hellenius really becoming world champion. I don't think he has the athleticism. I don't think he has the kind of uh, natural talent that he had on his way up because of those injuries. And, you know, it's a real shame because he was a talented heavyweight contender. I mean, in his first 15 fights, this guy knocked out three former world champions in his first 15 fights. I mean, who does that? Who does that these days, honestly? Um, you know, that, that was commendable. So, um, you know, he, he showed a lot of promise, but it was just the injuries took too much out of him. And we'll see where he goes from here. You know, I would like to see him maybe fight... Um, I don't know, you know, the winner of Joshua, no, sorry, not Joshua, um, Joseph Parker versus Dimitrenko, because actually Dimitrenko and Hellenius were actually lined up to fight a few years ago, but because of Hellenius' injury that he sustained prior to the Chisora fight, the fight never happened. So um, perhaps whoever wins that fight could go up against Hellenius. I mean, I don't really see it happening because... Um, because Joseph Parker is the mandatory for Anthony Joshua, so uh, if he if he beats Dimitrenko, he's likely going to go on to fight Joshua next year. And uh, I suppose one one fight that would be very interesting, and I would I would love to see it, would be Robert Hellenius versus David Price, because those guys have a lot of history. Okay, they fought several times in the amateurs. Um, Robert Hellenius beat David Price up the first time, from what I hear. And the second time, it was a close fight, supposedly, but Hellenius won again on points. And uh, David Price has had his ups and downs. He's been knocked out a couple of times. You know, he's had injuries of his own. David Price had a hand injury himself early on in his career, which stalled him a bit. So, you know, the, the two have um, similar problems and, and similar flaws. So I would like to see that fight. It'd be interesting and intriguing, especially considering the history that those two have. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.